Vanilla Saga finally launched in new countries, including my Beshi and Philippines, so it's only fair that I update the original version of our Vanilla Saga tier list. Keeping in mind that there's now 60 heroes to go over, so I'll be grossly oversimplifying their summary to keep things moving. Gyrnal is a powerhouse hero that multiplies her damage by littering the battlefield with avatars, S tier. Regin Leaf enhances your team's defenses twofold by supplying immense damage mitigation buffs, A tier. Goal is a support bruiser that buffs her own defenses and supplies a shield wall for the team. A tier. Sif is another defense buffing bruiser that utilizes knockups and stuns to crowd control enemies. B tier. Freya is the perfect healer with excessive amounts of healing on every skill and HP buffs for the team. S tier. Skogul is a strong attacker with a fair amount of skill spam thanks to her incremental energy buffs. A tier. Mist uses the Confuse debuff which makes your enemies attack each other. Her entire kit is truly unique and overpowered. S tier. Hagomi converts damage received into healing, making her invincible through even the strongest attacks. S tier. Hlock has the most battlefield control of any hero. She banishes enemies from the field, teleports squishies to mid, and AoE petrifies all enemies. Double S tier. Nos and Jersemi have huge multipliers based on defense, making them a tank and a nuke at the same time. S tier. Ingemeyer unleashes a flurry of 8 attacks with increased crit rate. If 6 of these attacks crit, he launches 8 more. S tier. Arthur is a berserker that crashes down on a single enemy relentlessly with his ultimate. C tier. Turpin is held back with a low damage ultimate and a kit that relies on RNG to proc extra attacks. D tier. Lawrence's mediocre damage and self debuffing stances make him too slow to be viable. D tier. Moliere is a great support bruiser equipped with heals, AoE damage, crowd control, and a shield. A tier. Elena unfortunately suffers from damaging herself, which is not a good trade-off for what her abilities actually do. D tier. Roland is your standard starting character. Not bad at all considering he deals true damage, but not magnificent either. B tier. Oliver assassinates the squishiest enemy with his ultimate. Upon killing the enemy, he gains massive energy to spam it again. A tier. Nancy is an attack-based healer that also provides minor buffs to an ally, which is not very good compared to other healers. D tier. Ogier gets decent skill spam with an energy gain passive, but the bonuses of his effects only last a short time. C tier. Magi makes enemy skills hurt themselves upon casting. This also debuffs making her change up combat entirely. Double S tier. Pawn is a hero that melts enemies one at a time. She would probably be one of the highest DPS possible for bosses. S tier. Besha pairs with allies to make their multi-hit attacks deal more damage. It's kinda niche, but imagine it with Pawn. B tier. Quinn practically negates all magic damage from enemies. This trivializes, well, half of the damage dealers in the game. S tier. Andri provides minor magic damage and a pretty useless buff, however he does put totems down for the enemies to deal with. C tier. Anastasia goes invincible while channeling a whirlwind attack, making part of the field a literal death trap. S tier. Delilah's ranged auto attacks bounce between enemies, making her great for AoE and kinda bad for single target. B tier. Salida's kit is based on one skill that does low damage and her survivability passive only works whenever she's dying making Salida our first F tier. Bayo's entire strategy is relentless auto attacks with a flurry attack ultimate supported by self buffs and self shielding. A tier. Haya is actually just a minor support for her pet Tuftus. She spends her time channeling small buffs for him but she supplies nothing for the team. F tier. Hypnos launches snowballs that bounce between enemies and she can turn an enemy into a snowman. B tier. Uriah is a typical ranged auto attack carry. She will target the highest attack enemy, but her skills aren't very powerful. C tier. Arcadia bombards enemies with sheep skills that do slight knockback. Her damage, once again, holding her back. D tier. Sod excels in long fights if she gets a chance to ramp up, but dispelling her own buffs is not the best mechanic. C tier. Svepper passively increases your team's defense and supplies energy and heals to the team. S tier. Oswell sounds a lot better than he is, a knockup skill is usually just filler and then his ult does not last long enough. C tier. Senon's ultimate is great for executing foes. She has a parry and repose skill that when timed right is a powerful display of skill. B tier. Rongzen's effects all last a short 3 seconds and she must cast 2 skills in order to trigger a shield. D tier. Obero heals based off max HP, but in a game where some heroes full heal your whole team, 
this isn't that great. C tier. Loga starts off slow, but by the time he launches his ult, the enemy team is all attack speed broken and frozen. A tier. Yu Gao's only real use is her AoE attack speed buff. The teleport of her ult can rarely get her out of a sticky situation. C tier. New's damage benefits from having a full team of Enclave heroes, which not every player can find useful. C tier. Yurimasa and Nyoto are notoriously slow, and they try to make up for this by slightly buffing their attack speed after they're nearly dead. D tier. Hai Tang has a plethora of bonus effects that scale based on her speed. She will be a good use to your lonely speed gear. A tier. Ayano places lightning marks on enemies to electrify her attacks. She also gets a second chance upon death. B tier. Katarina supplies passive magic defense to the entire team along with shields, making caster enemies struggle. A tier. Ingrid's ultimate strikes all enemies with heavy magic damage. She comes with an anti-mage skill as well. A tier. Vilgis is one of the weakest heroes in the game. His damage is atrocious and his ult makes him useless for a while in exchange for a mid attack. F tier. Aurora has a nice AoE debuff cleanse and she steals energy for allies. She banishes the strongest enemy to help your survivability. S tier. Hydra does insane amounts of true damage to a single target and makes attackers exhaust their own energy. A tier. Ostara's attacks all follow a straight line in front of her, making it easy to miss enemies entirely with nearly every attack. F tier. Teresa's ultimate unleashes a death zone that persists while she casts powerful multi-hit spells. B tier. Mortimer was often overlooked in previous lists, but recent reviews are very pleased with his damage. B tier. Mephisto is like a bank for your healing. He drains your teammates' health, but returns it to them later whenever they need it. D tier. Dracula gives himself minor heals when crowd controlled. His ult increases his defenses and gives him counterattack for a few seconds. C tier. Amari is another hero that limits their own capabilities. In early battle, her healing is better, and later on she does some damage. C tier. Colo Cola is an entire strike squad in one. She multiplies into an entire second team of DPS. Double S tier. Corella sure doesn't do very much damage for boasting 20 missiles in her ultimate, but she can be good for buffing Ranger ally HP. B tier. And that covers all 60 plus characters, including the new heroes on Panilla Saga. Please feel free to drop some knowledge down in the comments. If you like this video, then feel free to join my Discord. But other than that, y'all, that's going to do it for me today, and I'll see y'all later. Bye.